So, what's up everybody? This is Trey Parker. I'm going to show you guys what I am making. Usually, I wait till 1 o'clock to eat something. But, if you want to lose some weight, you got to change the way you eat. You got to stay away from bread. Okay? For example, stuff like this is what makes you gain weight and retain weight. So if you're trying to lose weight, having a hard time doing so, there's a reason behind it. It's, it's sugar, but the main culprit is carbohydrates. Sometimes, depending on your diet, it could be because you eat too much protein. Too much. So, that being said, this is what I'm going to say. You need to go get some butter. Not dairy butter. These are the things you need to get. Get some of this. Get some chunky light tuna. Four eggs. And some of these. Right here. So. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Set this here. Now I've already, I already put some of this in there already. I might put some more in there, but meanwhile, because when it comes down to fat, it weighs you down. It pretty much hinders your, if you play sports, it hinders your athleticism performance. It gets in the way. So, when I was at Clinton College, I was mostly eating vegetables. When I was in high school, I was eating vegetables. Didn't really start eating carbohydrates until my junior year, and then I noticed a big change within myself my junior year. I gained a lot of weight. Fat weight, basically. I lost it, but um, over time, throughout the years, uh, I've been trying to figure out why can I not lose all of it. It was because it was the bread. Like, carbohydrates was something I ate here and there. It wasn't like an everyday thing. But and then I sat there and I watched. It turned into an everyday thing. Literally. I mean, I still got a little fat on me. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. As you guys can see, I still got a little fat on me. But, you know... But at the same time, I got a little bit of a six pack too. You still, everybody has a six pack. Everybody does. Oh, he's fat. He doesn't have a six pack. Well, yeah, he does. It's under his. It's under the fat. It's there. It is there. It's just. It's covered in fat. That's all it is. Sometimes it can be stored water weight. That's why I have to explain to somebody at work that um, cause they were saying that they were fat. I was like, well, you're not technically fat. All it is is just excess water weight. Yeah, let's put a little bit more in this in here. Just about that much. All of this is just extra water weight that your body is storing because of either bread, too much sodium. But right now, I don't think it's too much sodium. I think it's too much bread. My brother, he... He's physically fit, but he's buying a lot of noodles, you know, so. Hey, uh, Brave, I'm recording right now. I'm recording. Yes, you can tell me later. Because he's coming up right now. Okay, he can, you can tell me after I get done. Okay. All right. All right, so right now I'm pretty much, uh, Making eggs with the green beans here, or stream beans actually. Enough to add some tuna with it. Or you can use spinach. I recommend you guys drink a cup of green tea in the morning. No sugar, just plain green tea. Just plain green tea. So I, I, that's what I recommend. Just plain green tea or drink you some black coffee. Unless you play sports. If you play sports, don't drink black coffee. Just 
Stay away from coffee. Um, just drink some green tea. What's going to happen, green tea is going to help actually help you lose some of that weight unless you are constantly eating bad stuff. Fast food should only be an alternative, a substitution. As far as like, okay, let's we'll say you've been cooking food for like over nine months, right? And you don't feel like cooking. Or um, you're not feeling well one day. Fast food should be, you know... It's okay to eat fast food. It's, it's, it should not be your daily life. It should not be. It should Fast food should not always be the alternative. It's like a substitution. So, I recommend you go buy tons of groceries, get some avocados. You need fat to burn fat. And all this stuff about, you know, people saying, well, if you eat fat, you get fat. That's a lie. It was a lie to get people to start getting fat. There's an agenda behind people gaining weight. They want people to gain weight. They want people to be fat for some reason. I don't know what it is. I'm not saying it's a conspiracy theory, but if, if, um, if there's doctors being paid to lie to people about what's really going on, you know what I'm saying, then you need to take heed of that. You know, there's people on YouTube trying to debunk all this stuff. There's a lot of people that's listening to them, and there's a lot of people that's not listening to them. You know, so... Now, you can lose weight without working out. You just got to eat right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for example, um, Gucci Mane, um, he's a rapper. He lost all that weight. Uh, Rick Ross... He's a rapper. He lost all that weight just by eating right. That's what they. That's what they did. They didn't work out. They ate right. But I, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, Gucci Mane started working out after he lost all that weight. But I'm just saying. You know, these are prime examples. Like, um, you got people that want to gain weight, right? Oh, I want to gain some weight, but they just be like, "Well, I'm just gonna get fat." I was like, "You sure you want to gain some fat?" I mean, it's not wrong getting fat, but like. How they talk about it, they want to gain a lot of fat. And I'm like, okay, dude, like, once you gain it, you're going to have a hard time trying to lose it because you don't know what to do. Because carbohydrates is addicting. Fast food is addicting. You know, fast food is, is nothing but carb-based foods. Stuff that's going to be, stuff that's high in glycemic. So what, I don't even remember where the heck we got this from. Um, if I was you guys, I'll go look this up. I forgot the name. I don't, I don't even remember. But if any of you guys know what this is, go, go buy this. Because I like to chop the stream beans up to make it look all small. So that way, you know. You know, unless it's spinach or just peas. This is what I do. This is like, to be honest, this is what the first meal of the day for me. I'm probably going to eat this around 1 o'clock or I'll probably eat this at 11. You can fast to 11 o'clock, so you can just probably like eat, let's say eat at 1 o'clock, eat at 5, and then you eat at dinner time around 6, and then you don't, you stop eating. For us tonight, you go to bed yeah. 11 o'clock. But... Yeah, that's good. That's my brother right there. He's checking the dishwasher. We had like a plumbing issue yesterday. Uh, well, not exactly a plumbing issue. It was more like there was water being built up in the dishwasher and it had like a disgusting smell. Yeah, so we fixed it. The dishwasher needs to be fixed. Uh, I don't know how much that gonna cost. It's probably gonna cost an arm and a leg. Goodness. So yeah, this is what I pretty much do. I need to go buy some more food and stuff like that. Eating fruits is not bad for you, it's just that when you eat too much of it. So, it, it depends on what type of fruit it is. Like, 
fruits like such as bananas, bananas can easily turn into something bad if you eat too much. So I recommend you eat like a banana, maybe two bananas a week. Treat it as if it's treat the banana as if it's a substitution for potassium. Yeah, it may not have a lot of potassium, but you get more all your potassiums throughout the day. When you're low on potassium, supplement it with a banana. So I'm not like I said, I'm not no fitness expert, but I just know what it takes to lose weight. To lose fat. It's just the thing is it's like it's consistency. You gotta constantly do it every day. Consistency. So and if you're working out, keep in mind that if you're constantly doing the same thing for weeks at a time, your body starts to get used to it. You might have to start doing something different. Because then you, you, you'll reach to a point where you're losing weight. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you stop losing weight. And you're like, I'm, I'm working out. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. It's not, it's not doing. It's not going down. My weight's not going down any further. It's because your, your body's used to what you're doing. You might have to do more. You might have to do something totally different. You know? Or keep doing it so you can break the borders and pretty much go to the next level. This is good. You can add a little salt to it if you want to. So, but uh, this is pretty much what I recommend you guys do in the morning, or an afternoon lunch. <laughs>